Hey guys, so it's about 1.30. I've got like a late start on trying to vlog, but I did some cleaning this morning, but I didn't get any footage of that because I was trying to just go through and do it quickly without having to set up cameras and whatnot. And honestly, once you've seen one cleaning video, you've seen them all. And I kind of feel like some of the ones I've been watching on YouTube are a little bit on the staged side. I don't know. But um, I'm getting ready to go into the Crimson Circle Boutique, aka... Target. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to take you with me, but I'm on a time crunch because I have to pick up Cam from school and run a couple other errands. And I'm going to go to um, Marshall's when I leave here because I need to get some, I want to look for more candles. And so I'll take you along with me, but I probably won't be doing a whole lot of vlogging and talking at the same time just because, like I said, I am on a bit of a time crunch to get done before um, Cam goes to school. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. and I found like so much stuff like great gift ideas which they always have every year but I saw a wide selection <clears throat> I want to show you guys real quick too that um you guys know how I like the clean linen and I found the mother load in this particular Marshalls which never ever happens to me but I wanted to show you guys they have new packaging look at that isn't that pretty it's so much better and I like that it's the uh, larger jar candle decent price too so um i'll probably do a miniature haul when i get back home sorry i'll do a miniature haul when i get back home but i have to go get can and i have to do some grocery shopping also but yeah definitely check out marshall's home goods tj maxx all those places if you've got like friends and family members because one of those candles and a neat little con like a neat little gift bag and um, a nice little card or even a gift card and those little lighters like I showed you in my um, couple of videos ago, like I, sh I showed you guys these little miniature lighters by Crocs that you can get from the Dollar Tree that and a candle would be an awesome gift I would love that gift if it was like a little something for a hostess or a little gift for a friend or somebody like a co-worker or something like that or even like for a teacher gift it would be a neat little idea for that so yeah definitely check out your um, I'm not sponsored by the way but I just love home goods like everybody else TJ Maxx and Marshalls this Marshalls is the closest thing to my house now so that's where I would primarily go but I just saw so many cute little things in there for a reasonable price so yeah if you're looking for little gifts definitely try there um, but I gotta get going to go get um, I think I'm gonna go get a coffee my throat is still so scratchy. <clears throat> it was like that yesterday, but I kind of pushed through, but I feel it more today. And I don't know if it's because of the weather. We go back and forth between snow and wind, snow and wind. So maybe that's what it is, but I'm bundled up. So I don't know if that's what it is, but yeah, let me get moving and I will um, get past you guys in a little bit. So as promised, I'm doing a haul of the things that I got. I went to Target and I also went to Marshall's and I'll show you what I picked up. So, most of you know I already get my cleaning supplies from Grove Collective, but I missed my order this month because I thought I had things that I didn't have. So, I ended up getting some Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Cleaner in Lemon Verbena and I got some hand soap as well. I always like to buy matching fragrances because I don't... For some reason, I just prefer that. And then I'm trying also in the kitchen this month, I'm going to be trying the Mrs. Myers and the basil scent. So I got the multi-surface spray. I got the dish soap and I got the matching hand soap to that. So I'll be switching that out. 
these two will kind of just go in the cabinet for when the basil kind of runs out. I'll have a backup pair in case I miss my order again. Um, and then also from Target, I needed something for um, file folders. I don't know if anybody else keeps like files for their family, but I found this little file case. It's by Threshold. I don't care for the gold accents because I'm, mostly everything I have is chrome, but it's like marble print, which I'm very into. And um, it'll look nice sitting out. It won't look like, it's not something I have to kind of tuck away. So I can put this out on top of the bookcase and use it to file um, the family files. And so on the inside, it looks like this. So you can see. The next thing I got was house shoes because everybody needed slippers. So I picked up these for Cam. These are by Cat and Jack and they're in a size six. So they just look like that. Just little boys slippers. And they're Cat and Jack. And then they were $15.99. I looked for something less expensive, but it is what it is. And these I think are super cute. I got a pair of these for myself. And these were $15. And these are by Exhilaration. And I got those in a 7 8. And the soft pink. And then for baby girl, I got these. I thought she would like these because they're very um, unicornish, and she really does like the um, My Little Pony. And this reminds me so much of something very My Little Pony esque. And these were actually less expensive. These were nine ninety nine, and they're not exhilaration. These are by Massimo in a seven eight. So I thought she would like those. And then moving on to what I got from Marshalls. So this first thing is super cute. It's the end of the year, so you guys, whoever is a planner kind of person, I don't usually buy the more expensive planners. I like the inexpensive planners that I find at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods. So um, I found this one at Marshalls today. It's a 2018 planner, also in the marble print. It has the gold spine, so I really thought, you know, these two things next to each other would look super cute, even though they came from two different places. But um, it's just like the one I bought for last year, and it just has the you know, weekly and monthly, and it has your 2019 calendar in the front. Just like, it's basic, but it's what I use and what I get the most use out of. And I'll show you what I do like about it is, of course, it's got the gray interior. And you can actually write lists of things out. I don't know if you can see that. So, got that. And pretty much everything else is um, home accessories, I guess you'd say. So I found this little small vase. It's by a company called RF, I think. Um, I'm guessing. Um, but this is $4.99. Oh, no, not RF. I'm sorry. It's these people. There's a, another tag in there. It's these people. Radiant Living. And it was $4.99, and it's kind of that, that cracked glass look. I don't know, it's hard to see, really. But I got a, I wanted to get a shallow vase to do a smaller, like, um, a smaller um, arrangement with roses. And I'm hoping to find some hydrangeas, like white hydrangeas and white roses. And when I do that, I'll probably make a video about it because I've been dying to do a short arrangement. So I got that one. And then I found a second one that's very similar. So I'm thinking I'll put one on the coffee table and one on the entry table. And this one is by the same company, Radiant Living. And it looks like that. It was also $4.99. I don't know if you can see that. But I thought these two together would look really nice in the living room. And I might be able to even put um, so the shorter one on the coffee table and the taller one on the entry table. But um, I do like really tall vases usually, but these I thought I would do something a little bit different. When I do tall vases on the coffee table, it's a little difficult to see um, the TV and all that kind of stuff. And you kind of have to move everything when people go to sit down. So I want to try to do lower, shorter arrangements, but like a broader um, scale, I guess. But I'll show you what I'm talking about in another video. I do plan on doing a video about that. 
and the other thing I was thinking about is that I'm actually supposed to be getting a new coffee table here in a couple of weeks so um, I'm kind of thinking about how I want to go ahead and prepare that coffee table or what I want it to look like when it's done I'm sure you guys will see that um, everything else I got is pretty much candle related so I picked up another winter candle it's really big it's a three wick candle looks like that and I got this because it's a really clean and satisfying scent and um, it's a really clean and satisfying scent and I can burn it the rest of the winter it's not just like a holiday or Christmas scent so I can burn this well into like probably March and it smells so good and clean I don't know what to tell you but it's really good and clean so if you find winter you should pick that one up and then the next one I got which I already showed you guys this in the car but I got a few of these clean linen candles the old packaging was nice but this is so much better it's just a very clean and crisp um, label and it's still the same smell same fragrance single wick in this jar it's a filled jar and it's um, $6.99 for these so I also got a bunch of these and pretty sure that's all that's in this other bag yes that's all I have in that other bag so that's pretty much all I picked up you guys I'm, I'll show you these things styled once I figure out how they're gonna go I am gonna go out and look for flowers for these other two vases um, just to kind of play with the styling aspect of it I usually just buy grocery store flowers and sometimes I'll mix in uh, picks that I already have that are silk or satin picks um, but most of those are on a tree or somewhere around the house so I'm going to really try to do fresh flowers I don't use necessarily I don't always use um, floral foam I know a lot of people you know will insist on foam but I've had a really hard time playing around with that um, I think if you use foam wet foam you really need to concentrate your effort on um, flowers that you get from a florist because grocery store flowers just don't have robust stems so I have to figure out other ways to arrange it and so I'm going to work on that and I will show you guys when I do start working on that but yeah for right now that's all I picked up um, the last thing on the agenda today is some grocery shopping and then I'm gonna just call it a night we're probably gonna eat out because I'm just really really tired my throat's really sore and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to end this vlog here because I just don't see me trying to vlog and buy groceries at the same time. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and then I will try to do a floral video hopefully tomorrow if I find something worth arranging. So it really depends on that. But I will see you guys on the next video.